Hey girl, welcome to the channel, Teresa Renee, and thank you so much for stopping by. So today we're going to be building clusters. Clusters are really, really good for adding interest to the tree. They also can help hide any gaps that may be in your tree. So let's get busy building some of these clusters. And later on, I'm gonna give you some snapshots of what they look like in the tree, and I'm going to do another um, reveal at some point of the whole tree. So what I've done here is I have chosen some picks that I like, um, different colors, different shapes. I have on the bottom of this table, which you cannot see, um, picks that have like um, different color balls and berries, I guess I should say, on them. And the goal in the objective really is to do something that you like. So you can pick out whatever it is that you like to layer to put into your tree. And honestly, sometimes it's just a game of going back and forth. I put something together. I don't like it. I take it apart. Um, just adding different, you know, different textures if you like. I just happen to this year have these textures, but you know, I kind of changed the texture up a little bit, adding in some of the berries. If you want to, you can actually tie them together. I never tie my picks together because I am always taking them loose, you know, at the end of the season. I take them apart, I separate them out. Um, and next year I'll do it all over again because I never know what I'm going to use from year to year. And a lot of these, um, picks I purchased new, but there's some that I had from last year and years before. So it's a great way to add interest into your tree by building clusters. Um, normally I will build like a lot of clusters before I even start so that I won't have to jump up and down, up and down building clusters. And I like to build clusters like this, but then sometimes I'll put singles in a tree as well. But I just think it's a, I don't know, it's just different. It just adds a little interest to the tree. And you can take and layer them however you see fit. Um, you can take and do this with flowers. You can use berries. You can, I mean, really it's endless. Um, the options are endless when you're doing this. And you just keep moving them around until you find combinations that you actually like. Let's put my clusters together. See how pretty that is? And then add them into the tree. Opposed to having to go, come back, sit down, go, come back, sit down. You know, doing all that. That's a pain in the rear end most of the time. So we have this. So I'm gonna add this one. Oh yeah. That adds a little interest to it. Oh, how pretty is that? You can kind of see the champagne, the, you know, the different color goals. So once I get up, I am up. You can add two of the same, actually make you, you know, add two of the same together, or you can separate them out, however you prefer to do it. But it's just, you know, Adding a little interest. So, I'm going to put this in here.
So let's take a look at the clusters that I built in the tree. And, you know, I like to stick some of them out so that they stick out beyond the branches like that. Check this one out. That is really pretty, right? Um, some of them I stick upright like I did that one. You can see the berries and stuff. I stuck that one upright. And then some of them I lay in the tree coming out like that. And like at the bottom see how that's like in coming out that one. so i hope you have some ideas about how you can build your own clusters into your own tree and add some interest and you know just do something different if you've tried this method before let me know your thoughts and thank you so much for stopping by my channel i'll holler back at you in the next video peace girl